Right, so now we're getting ready to fit the cylinder head to the cylinder barrels. Obviously all the valves are in and uh, we've checked all the threads on the head and everything's okay. And so what I've done is I've put well seal on the uh, cylinder on the on the face of the of the um, cylinder head and we'll see in a minute I've done the same on the barrels now I've done that because we're using a composite gasket this is a composite head gasket now I believe there are three types of gasket available there's this one the composite head gasket and the second most common one which is the original copper gasket and then there's a third one which is called a Cometic Gasket, made by the Cometic Gasket Company, I believe, in America. But I, I don't have that much, I don't know much, that much about it, right? I use these composite gaskets. The advantage of a composite gasket is that it, they don't tend to leak oil. Now, I've built quite a lot of these engines, I suppose, as the last 11 years, I suppose, I've, I've had these triples now. I don't know, I suppose 10 times or whatever I've done an engine. And I've never had an oil leak and I've never had a blown gasket in all that time. So I've started to use composite gaskets and I still use them now for that reason. So I think this is the flame ring, okay? And it's that that seals the, the, the compression and makes sure that, you know, it doesn't blow, doesn't, you know, the, uh, doesn't blow the gasket. And then you've got the sort of, cardboardy bit uh, and that seems to provide a good seal in terms of not leaking oil from these oil drain oil drain ways so it doesn't seem to blow a gasket it doesn't seem to leak so it seems to be a bit of a no-brainer to me to, to use that the disadvantage of a composite gasket is that you do have to retort the head i think because they're like a sort of paper type gasket they do tend to uh you know squish quite a bit so i i tend to slightly over taught the head when I first put it on uh, only because I know it's going to go very slack very quickly then as soon as I've started the engine I'll re the head down as soon as it's started and I'll check all the tappets and that and then probably after 50 miles or 100 miles and then maybe at 250 miles and then after that it's sorted then we've got this, this imaginary copper gasket here. I think the advantage of the copper gasket is you don't have to keep retorking the head down because it's metal. And uh, so once you torque it down, it doesn't tend to change that much. Obviously, you do need to check the torque, but it doesn't need retorking as much as the composite gasket. And, of course, you can reuse a, um, a copper head gasket. You just heat it to a cherry red and then either let it cool down or quench it. There's some discussion, I think. I'm not a metallurgist, so some people say to quench them, some people to let them cool down. I, I couldn't comment on that. But heat them to cherry red. And then I think you use a seal, and what's it called? Copper seal, I think it's called a little spray. You spray it, which is like, which is the sort of copper equivalent of well seal, if you like. And that goes on. I've never used one. Um, I do worry that they might leak oil more, but, you know, you pay your money and you take your choice. It's a matter of total opinion. Some specialists will swear by copper. Some will swear by composite. You know, uh, you could argue all day long. It's one of those. It's no. There's no right or wrong. It's a matter of opinion. The third one I've heard of is this cometic gasket, which allegedly is the best of all. It's a, it's a sandwich, so it's metal, then some sort of goo, and then metal at the bottom. And when you tighten it up, the goo kind of seeps out and seals everything. Allegedly. I say allegedly because I've never used one. Um, but I think if you're having trouble with a head leaking and this that and you can't cure it, then you might go for that. In our case, we have skimmed the top of the head. We've skinned the top of the barrels and so on. And so I think, you know, everything should seal and we'll be fine. Uh, you know, so I think if everything's okay, you, you shouldn't have a problem either with um, composite or with copper. But I, I've always used composite and... So I carry on because I've never had a trouble, any problems. So why change? You know, if I, oh, it works perfectly. So I'll find, I'll try something else and then find it doesn't work. This has always worked for me. So I carry on. Which way does a gasket go? I don't think it matters. Okay. So uh, I'll simply fit it uh, that way up. Right. So the barrels. So then what we've done to the barrels, we've put these uh, pillar studs back in. We screwed them in dead tight and I put some, 
did I film doing this? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, there might be a, an earlier video of this, but if I didn't, I just put some uh, Loctite on them and then screwed them in. I re-tapped or clean, not re-tapped, but cleaned all the threads out with a tap before I put these in to make sure they go fully home. However, I don't want them to unscrew, so I've put Loctite in. Because what happens is the cylinder head studs screw into these. Now, when I'm talking the cylinder head stud, or in particular, if I ever want to take it out again, really, I want this to stay in and for the stud to come out. And if these aren't screwed in tight, when I undo the cylinder head stud, it could be that the pillar bolt, you know, turns rather than the stud. Uh, which is okay because when the stud kind of hits the top of the cylinder head and then it will stop coming out and and the stud should, should come out anyway. But ideally, you don't want it to come out. So a uh, bit of um, Loctite on the threads. And then I simply use, as you've probably got witness marks, I think, uh, a pair of mole grips to, uh, to put them in because these are inside the engine. It doesn't matter that they're a bit scored. I suppose you could put a bolt and a lock nut on if you wanted to do it properly, but of course, hey, I'm not going to do things properly. Um, so uh, they're, they're screwed in and loctited. And also the threads have all been cleaned where the actual um, uh, cylinder head studs go in. Uh, actually, going back a step, before I did that, I put in these new uh, dowels for the, uh, the drain holes, these uh, six dowels. And these and these dowels go in the holes, these corresponding holes in the cylinder head, and so the oil drains down and hopefully drains straight through into the crankcase and not out through the gasket. Um, they were taken out because the um, engineers wanted to skim the top of the barrels, so they had to take them out. So I've got the new ones in. Now some people say. It's more you get a better oil seal if you actually insert these dowels into the cylinder head rather than inserting them into the barrels. Because if you think about it, if if the if they're in the barrels, then they're less likely to leak. Because at the moment the oil is going to come down and like sit around the edge and then go down. So if those are already in the head, it'd be better. However, I did that once, but I think that these. Um, holes are minutely smaller than the ones in the head because I tapped these into the head and they went in dead easy. Then I came to put the head on and it really didn't want to go into the barrels and eventually it did and I tapped it down. And then I can't remember why, but I needed to take it apart again because I'd done something stupid. And when I took the head off, then all these came, all these stayed in the barrels and they, the head came off separately. So I think that these are these holes are slightly smaller in the barrel. So it didn't make any difference putting the, the dowels in the head because they just they just came straight out again. What I what I have done is I have put well seal around the sides of the dowels, and I've also uh, sort of painted well seal down inside the holes. You can see they're slightly sleeved, these holes, and I think that's why it's very slightly bigger in the, in the head. Uh, you know, you can see there's a step, you know, halfway down. Uh, so as ever, I use the well seal and um, I use a little craft brush to paint the well seal on with. And so I just painted it down inside those little oil holes and all around the sides of the dowels, you know, to try and obviously get an oil seal. Um, I have put well seal on the sort of cylinder liners. I'm, in all honesty, I'm not sure whether that's right or wrong, but I... Uh, I think it's okay. It's just simply going to burn off if if uh, if it doesn't like it. Uh, and to be honest, when you put the well seal on the on the head, it's impossible really not to put it where the ring, where the liners are going to go because of course there's no line to tell you where the liners kind of start and finish. Uh, right, so I'm going to put it on. Oh yes, one sort of th one very important thing. What I've also done with my paintbrush is I've put well seal around the bottom of all the, the tappet blocks, okay, ready uh, for when I fit the um, push rod tubes later on. Because when the head's on, it's quite difficult to get to the back of these tappet blocks, even like with a paintbrush, because the head's going to come like over there, and then, you know, it's 
it's hard. In fact, it's hard enough as it is now getting down and sort of putting Welsh around the back. So um, I've made sure I've actually remembered to do that before I've uh, fitted the fitted the head. It's just easier. I mean, you can still do it. It's just you know with the head on, which is a bit more awkward. Right. Okay. Yes. So uh, right, I'll uh, I've got to put the head on. What what I imagine is going to happen is the head will go on nice until it hits the dowels, uh, and that last sort of and then it's not going to and, and until those dowels like decide to finally go into the head, it's not going to like it. But they should then eventually go into the head. I say that because they're new dowels and as ever the you know slightly different to the originals that came out um but and i'm a bit worried that they might not line up perfectly or whatever but we'll see we'll see 